It is my hope that women of the East, as well as their Western sisters, will progress rapidly until humanity reaches perfection. God's bounty is for all and gives power for all progress. When men own the equality of women, there will be no need for them to struggle for their rights. One of the principles then of Baha'u'llah is equality of sex. Women must make the greatest effort to acquire spiritual power and to increase in virtue and wisdom and holiness until their enlightenment and striving succeeds in bringing about the unity of mankind. They must work with a burning enthusiasm to spread the teachings of Baha'u'llah amongst the people so that the radiant light of divine bounty may envelop the souls of all nations of the world. By Abdul Baha. Every man of insight will, in this day, readily admit that the counsels which the pen of this wronged one hath revealed constitute the supreme animating power for the advancement of the world and the exaltation of its peoples. Arise, O people, and by the power of God's might, resolve to gain the victory over your own selves, that happily the whole earth may be freed and sanctified from its servitude to the gods of its idle fancies, gods that have inflicted such loss upon and are responsible for the misery of their wretched worshippers. These idols form the obstacle that impedeth man in his efforts to advance in the path of perfection. We cherish the hope that the hand of divine power may lend its assistance to mankind and deliver it from its state of grievous abasement. Baha'u'llah. O thou who holdest within thy grasp the kingdom of names, and the empire of all things. Thou seest how I have become a stranger from my land on account of my love for thee. I beg of thee, by the beauty of thy countenance, to make my remoteness from home a means whereby thy servants may be drawn nigh unto the fountainhead of thy cause in the dayspring of thy revelation. O God, I call on thee with a tongue that has spoken no word of disobedience against thee, imploring thee by the sovereignty and might to keep me safe in the shelter of thy mercy and to grant me strength to serve thee and to serve my father and mother. Thou verily art the almighty, the help and peril, the self-subsisting. To be now, vow go he. Kemal Jaiva Panao he. Just on a just day. Vanaju. Vabereira Sabi le Mohabatat. Rao he. Nape mood. Vanapu. در شبان تیره نا امیدی دیدم به صبح امید التاف 
بی نهایت اطرفشان به باز و در سرگاهی این جان و دل پج مرده بیاد جمال و کمال خرم به دمساز هر قطره ای که به عواطف رحمانیتت موفق بهری است بیکران عبدالبها عباس Pure and sanctified art thou, O my God. How can the pen move and the ink flow? After the breezes of thy loving kindness hath ceased, and the signs of bounty have vanished, when the sun of abasement hath risen, and the swords of calamity are drawn, when the heavens of sorrow have been raised, and the darts of affliction and the lances of vengeance are rained from the clouds of power, in such wise. that the signs of joy have departed from all hearts and the tokens of gladness have been erased from every horizon the gates of hope have been shut the breeze of mercy in the supernal breezes hath ceased to waft over the rose garden of faithfulness and this oh my god is from naught but thy hidden bounties. Baha'u'llah. O Lord my God, assist thy loved ones to be firm in thy faith, to walk in thy ways, to be steadfast in thy cause. Give them thy grace to withstand the onslaught of self and passion, to follow the light of divine guidance. Verily, thou art the confirmer, the assister, the powerful, the generous, the loving. Today, the one overriding need is unity and harmony among the beloved of the Lord. For should they have among them but one heart and soul, and should, so far as in them lieth, unitedly withstand the hostility of all the peoples of the world, they must bring to an end the benighted prejudices of all nations and religions, and must make known to every member of the human race that all are the leaves of one branch, the fruits of one bough, Abdul Baha. such great importance to the indigenous population of America. Likewise, these Indians, should they be educated and guided, there can be no doubt that they will become so illumined as to enlighten the whole world. Abdu'l-Baha, Tablets of the Divine Plan. <laughs>